Hi, welcome to the video. What is Heroku for developers? I am Nam Haming from Code Zavano.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you what is Heroku, uh, benefits of Heroku, how Heroku works, and uh, some key concepts in Heroku, in the Heroku terminologies. So, what is Heroku? You know, Heroku is a container-based cloud platform as a service, or PaaS. Uh, developers use Heroku to deploy many and scale modern apps. Apps can be written in Java, Ruby, Scala, Node, Clojure, Python, PHP, or Go. And Heroku has an ecosystem of add-on services that let developers extend the capabilities of an application. All Heroku services are hosted on Amazon's EC2 cloud computing platform. And Heroku is the subsidiary of Salesforce Incorporated. Its home base is heroku.com. Heroku has many benefits. Uh, first and foremost, it lets developers deploy their apps onto the internet quickly. And Heroku gives developers the freedom to focus on their apps without the distraction of maintaining servers, hardware, or infrastructure. Heroku enables developers to iterate development fast in terms of continuous delivery. Heroku is easy to use with simple and straightforward deployment process. And Heroku offers flexible pricing. You can get started with a free plan. Ultimately, Heroku lets developers focus on what they do best, and that is developing apps. Now, let's understand how Heroku works at high level overview. Say we have an app written in Java, and it will be executed in a virtualized Unix container called Dino, running on Heroku Cloud Platform, which is running on Amazon EC2 infrastructure. And the end users access the application via the internet. The traffic is routed via HTTP router. In details, a Dino is actually a lightweight a virtualized Unix container uh, for Java application. It has only JDK and Maven installed for building and running the application. Makes sense. And scaling an application running on Heroku Cloud Platform evolves in changing the number of currently executing dynos. Uh, for example, to scale up, we can increase the number of currently executing dynos like this. And to scale down, we decrease the number of currently executing dynos like this. Makes sense. And Heroku lets developers scale applications very easily. Now let's understand the deployment process on Heroku Cloud Platform. Say we have an application that consists of source code dependency, and for deployment on Heroku, we need to define a profile. Uh, a profile uh, contains named commands to execute the application, and we can send the application to Heroku via git push. And on Heroku, a rebuild for the programming language of the application will build the application into a select that contains source code, uh, fetch, dependency, language runtime, and combined output. And the select combines with uh, some uh, configuration data or config files and add-on services together uh, make a release. And at runtime, uh, the Dino Manager creates a dyno that is loaded with the release and it executes the application by executing the command specified in the block file and we can easily scale up the application by increasing the number of uh, currently executing dynos like this and the total number of uh, currently executing dynos is called dyno formation makes sense Okay, to sum up, here are the key concepts or primary terminologies used by Heroku. Application is the combination of source code and dependency and profile. Uh, profile defines a list and process types with named commands to execute the application. Rebuild is a set of scripts that are used for compiling selects. And select is a combination of source code, compiled output, uh, fetch, dependency, and language runtime and config files are customizable configuration data, uh, for example, environment variables, and add-ons are third-party specialized value-added cloud services that can be easily attached to an app, and release is the combination of select config files and add-ons, and Dino is a lightweight, isolated, virtualized, unique container that provides the environment required to run an app, and scaling an application involves varying the number of dynos of each process type, Great.
so far I have said with you what is Heroku for developers. You learned uh, what is Heroku, uh, benefits of Heroku, how Heroku works, and the primary terminologies used in Heroku. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.